Yo, what's up, dudes? It's your boy. Scotty Smooth, man. This video, we have the Lockman Shroud, the new SMG in the Battle Pass, of course, we got this week. This is going to be the build you'll see in the video, and this isn't going to be your typical, like, OP build, whatever type video, man. This is going to be just my thoughts on the Lockman Shroud. Is it worth grinding for? Is it good to use in Warzone 2? If you guys have been watching my content, man, all we do is resurgence. I got a solo 17 kill game for you guys in Vondel with this thing. And you're just going to see it in action, man. You know, it's all right. Okay, you guys are going to see that in the gameplay. And I'll kind of go through, like, my thoughts as we play. But, again, here's the build if you guys want to try it out for yourself and run with this gun man before we jump into the gameplay i'm going to show you guys how to get this thing unlocked uh, and i played a good amount of shipment a good amount of hardcore mode uh, to get these in model warfare 2 so first thing you have to do is you have to get your 15 kills with the melee could be in any game mode just as long as it's model warfare 2 warzone whatever i uh, get your 15 melee kills also three kills without dying 20 times 15 headshot kills with a pistol you guys can do this uh, even in hardcore mode just kind of sit back and just try to hit people in the face pretty easy last one 20 long shot kills if you guys are playing the game enough then you're probably going to get this pretty decently so get your 20 long shot kills again you can do this in hardcore mode in multiplayer if that is the best uh, way for you to do it once you have done all four of those then the lockman shroud you do need to get 30 hip fire kills with smgs you can do this in shipment in, in hardcore mode too whatever you want hardcore mode seemed to be the best way for me to do it didn't really run too much and just hip fire pretty easily but uh that's how you get it man so let's go ahead and, and jump into the gameplay and show you what this thing is all about and i do want to apologize we did actually forget to record so i'm like kind of m not mid game early game still uh but we just get our loadout of course we are Vondel. I do already have four kills up. You can kind of see there. So again, played it a little bit. We have the Lockman Shroud. The first thing I do want to say, man, it's an SMG that is burst fire, bro. Okay, it's burst fire. So getting used to the burst fire is a little bit difficult, especially when you're used to these quick TTKs, when you're used to running the Lockman sub, the Vaznev, all of these guns that are fast and they're fully auto, man. We don't we haven't seen a burst SMG that really is has taken over. Uh uh, but the Lockman Shroud, you know, decent somewhat kill in that first engagement with it. At the very end of the gameplay, you guys are going to also see this thing up against the Lockman sub. Uh, and, uh, you know, a little spoiler alert, it doesn't end well for your boy. And you're going to see just the difference between the two, man. But anyway, guys, we got five kills up. I'll also kind of walk through this game. But see, it, it, to me, like, I'm, I'm holding the trigger down. Um, I probably only ran maybe like three games with this thing, so it's it, it's just you just get on autopilot, man. You get on cruise control and you're holding the thing down because you're used to that. So you got to get used to that burst. I will say that the burst mode is pretty quick on this gun, so you just tap and then it's a lot faster. I feel like than a lot of just burst weapons in general. So at least the burst is quick. A tip if you guys don't have these fancy little stoppers here where if you click their little clicks tick, 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 they're not necessarily they don't go in all the way if you don't have that you can always change to your r1 l1 buttons as well or your bumpers if you have an xbox controller if you are on a controller uh that way you're not going in that far so just a little tip there uh, for your burst weapons but seven kills we're about to get our eighth here we're using the lock or the cast off 762 almost said the lockman 762 uh cast off 762 as well man things an absolute beast bro season five you definitely need to run the cast off 762 if you haven't tried it out yet now we're kind of in the, the mindset to farm kills we want to get the the lockman uh, uh shroud and i might say lockman sub throughout the gameplay we're trying to get the Lockman Shroud uh, out and about. We're trying to get some kills with it just to kind of show you guys what it could do. And we're just kind of farming kills, man. And that's a really big tip for you guys to get more kills in Warzone. Uh, resurgent solos, man, because people are going to be landing back. You get a lot of aggressive players that try to land back on their loot. And if they try to land back in on their loot and you're sitting there waiting for them, those are just absolutely easy kills. You guys are going to see me get like freaking five plus by just kind of doing that method. So I'm in a power spot, man. Top of police. You have a lot of different angles you can look at. And of course, you know, we have the freaking fog in this game. You know, you got to love that. But uh, you guys heard uh, enemy UAV 
in the area are floating in. There they are right there. Boom, we take them out again. Lockman Shroud does the trick that time. Um, so, I mean, I could see this thing being a very high TTK gun if you're really good with that trigger finger, you know what I'm saying? You're good with the ladies on that trigger finger, bruh. Unlike me, then maybe this gun's absolutely insane. So it really depends on just like how you're, how comfortable you are with this type of gun. Uh, you guys can see we do take that guy out again pretty easily. And as I mentioned, we're farming kills, man. We're in the same area. There's people dropping in left and right, uh, trying to get their loot back. We're kind of running around. I don't want to say camping because like we're not you know sitting to be camping is like really sitting in a corner but we're at least kind of moving around looking around trying to find people and yeah actually kind of keeping our movement going we're just chilling you guys could hear someone took the zip up so they're up here somewhere uh and my guess is they're gonna be in here and we actually almost get taken out right there i think the guy had a basilisk honestly this guy could have probably killed me right here had he had a better loadout. So make sure you're using good loadouts when you're loading up into the games. I think he had like a sniper and a basilisk. So, you know, use overkill, man. Trust me, because overkill, he probably would have got, probably would have killed me in that case. I can see this gun being very difficult, especially in trios and quads. Solos and duos, you could probably get away with the Lockman Shroud, but you know when it comes to just being able to lock on and hold that trigger down at the same time man it, it just makes it a lot easier uh to do that with obviously fully auto is gonna you know be the way to go with it so we get a kill there pretty easy kill again uh using this freaking thing and we have 12 kills now man the circle's kind of coming in we're gonna have to move here shortly next circle for sure um so we're kind of gatekeeping again um and farming kills man that's literally like what did we have eight before we got up here now we're up to 13 kills you know this is a hot spot right this is a hot area people are gonna want to be coming up here because obviously you could get freaking any angle i've already got a few kills people are trying to get their loot back so why why leave when we could get these free kills man they're landing in with freaking two plates there's another one right there which actually this one is kind of close it actually they'll actually almost take me out bro hex 420 almost takes me out i'm literally a one shot there but the cast off 762 man does the trick for us and now we're kind of cruising man get yourself a stealth vest for sure uh if you guys can find a stealth vest in solos and have high alert as one of your perks you guys are going to be in such a good spot trust me high alert and the stealth vest is freaking op when it comes to solos so 14 players left we're kind of starting to move a little bit now towards uh towards the circle because we are going to have to move in 20 seconds we don't want to get caught rotating too late to where they could just sit there and watch me fly into the circle and just kind of beam me out of the sky but we did see a guy kind of pop his head up so that's why i threw the precision there i'm gonna smoke the buy station which is something that i need to do a lot more and you guys should probably do you're gonna have a lot of enemies watching that freaking buy station just locked in on it uh so smoke it man smoke the buy station here's some gunfire of course we third party because in solos third party is king and we are actually freaking cruising now man we have 15 kills and there are 15 players up right now so we're in a really good spot right obviously we pop uav we don't see really anyone around us so we're in the kind of still like in the looting phase we do need to rotate here in, the, in a little bit but there's a lot of loot down there and i want to go back and just double check i knew there's a couple mortars uh so instead of uh holding on to the uav i decided to throw it up grab the mortar and i think there's another one there was another one around here uh that i grabbed so uh still kind of looting up still looking around if you don't have a durable try to find a durable uh, of course see if they have a, a stealth vest definitely a big one kill streaks uh and you're pretty much good to go because the rest is just going to come with your loadout you can see the circle is actually going to end here or get kind of close uh to the top of mall and we do drop mall almost every time when we come into solos so we're pretty familiar with the spot I know I wasn't able to really break it down from the beginning of the game uh, just because I'm an idiot and freaking didn't record but if you guys have seen some of my solo videos you know we land the same spot every time or the same couple spots so we get comfortable with that area and we know it better than players that don't drop it every freaking time but we see a guy taking the zip just unfortunate cod timing for him on that part man i was just looking right in that area and he came up the zip got the easy kill 
uh, getting cast off 762, man. Absolutely insane. So, 10 players left. We have 16 kills. This is kind of when I slow it down. Um, you know, obviously up until this point, I'm trying to push. I'm trying to get some get UAV up. Um, you guys just saw there. I actually changed my knife out for a Semtex. Just because in solos, Semtex, frag grenades, uh, they're going to be more beneficial to you than a throwing knife. Obviously, that's going to be more so for your duos, trios, quads. So you can get the full. Um, but in solos, you probably don't need to worry about that. I also do grab an extra self uh, as well, just in case I get dropped by a sniper, and then uh, I have that extra self in my back pocket so I could switch it out. Seven players left while I was looting. A couple players died there, uh, but I'm always going to be watching my back up here. You got to be aware of your surroundings because there could be a guy behind me coming up right here as well. Uh, if you know the area, you know that that ledge is climbable, so that's something that I'm keeping in mind as well behind me to make sure that... No one's coming up behind me. No one's taking those stairs up uh, in that doorway. And no one's going to be climbing up the ledge as well. So, four players left, man. Like, literally, it seemed like the last six players just freaking died like that. Uh, I didn't know if the door opened or not. Uh, I thought I saw the door open down there. That's why I threw that mortar there. Figured someone was going to be there trying to gatekeep uh, this circle. We do have a freaking circle push from hell man unfortunately the circle does not go our way so we do need to move we do need to rotate i grabbed that bounty to give me a little bit more information you know solos is all about information whether it's uavs whether it's listening to gunfire hearing footsteps seeing what's going on around you grabbing bounties you want to know where players are at obviously that's going to you know get you where you can position yourself uh to get into a good spot and and uh take them out so we're flying down we threw the smoke down just in case we needed to use that and i'm actually going to go back a little bit because we did not go in the smoke but if i was getting shot here i would have veered off into the smoke so the smoke was there just in case i needed it uh just kind of as a safety valve i'm not really thinking about that as i'm playing um but actually when i like analyze the gameplay uh it's kind of like just second nature for me to do those kind of things as i'm analyzing the gameplay it's just muscle memory now so um i throw it there just in case we hear some coughing this guy here if i had killed him i would have won this game Okay, if I would have killed him right there, I would have won. I was focused on multiple, you know, the two guys left because there were two guys left. And this guy ends up being a really good player, man. He has the Lockman sub. Uh, and you guys are going to see kind of the Lockman shroud versus the Lockman sub. And unfortunately, uh, you know, I didn't really miss any shots. He didn't miss any shots. It's just that the Lockman sub is just better, man. It's just better. Maybe he just had a better shot on me. Maybe he was hitting headshots a little bit better. Uh, but I felt like I was hitting him. I don't know. It just it, it is what it is, man. So... In comparison, just from that experience, the Lockman Shroud is, it's an okay SMG, man. You just got to get used to the burst fire. And this, again, is the first weekend, so they could buff it down the road. It could be an absolute beast. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below if you guys have used the Lockman Shroud. And let me know your thoughts on it, because I'm curious, man. I see some videos of positives, negatives, all that stuff. Uh, and as always, man, I appreciate you for stopping by. I hope this video makes your day a little bit better. Peace. Oh,